This is a particle and nuclear physics chapter where you have an alpha particle scattering experiment. So there are two results that you observe from the experiment. Result one, most particles pass through metal foil or are deviated by small angles. Now this is very weird. If you actually do this in real life and you have you didn't know of the existence of any of, I don't know, atoms and electrons. Imagine you put a metal foil here. You bomb alpha particles inside. Lots and lots of them. Sometimes they bend a little bit and sometimes they are straight. Sometimes they bend a little bit. Sometimes they are straight. Sometimes they bend a little bit and you're like, what is happening? Why are they passing through? But then sometimes they bend a little bit. That's due to the the repulsion, the electrical repulsion inside there. So then people later realize, oh wait, there's a lot of atoms inside the metal foil and those are the ones, the nucleus especially, that cause our alpha particles to deviate. Deviate means to bend a little bit. Deviate by small angles. So what can you infer from that observation? Most of them pass through straight. Some are bent. So you need to talk about the charge. Why are they repelled? So you could say that most of them pass through. Ma. So most of the atom in, let's say, a metal, metal foil is empty space, actually. Empty space. Because um, most of them just pass through. Only some of them have some effect happening to them. And you might also want to add that they are positively charged. La. And nucleus, just in case, it's a mark. Nucleus is positively charged and it affects path of your alpha particle which is by the way positively charged also and observation two a very small minority of particles scatter through angles greater than 90 degrees you know what that means it means some alpha particle go in Suddenly, toing, go backwards, huh? Mm, go base way. Uh, this is these are all the the purple color ones are called more than ninety degree scattering. Means you probably hit an hit a nucleus head on collision and bounce back. So, how are we gonna? Why is it bounce back? Because number one, you probably repel with the atom. So let's talk about that. The nucleus inside these metal foils, uh, is positively charged. Positive charge again. I just say la, positively charged and repels alpha particle. And you can also mention the nucleus is very dense. Because there's mass all concentrated on that small spot. So when you hit it, you get bounced back. Woo! Very big bouncing. So here is two marks. Wow, this one is okay. The top one is one mark, so this one is B1. If you talk about empty space. Most of the atom is empty space. And you can talk about second one is very dense. Where is it? Very dense. Positively charge. Another one. So here is B1. B1. Maybe you want to add here the small nucleus. Just in case you talk about how small. Okay, so this one varies year to year. I'm going to check out how they ask you to explain the scattering experiment. Let's move on to the last part. A radioactive decay sequence has four nuclei, PQRS. This one, decay to this one, decay to this one, decay to this one. Nucleus S is an isotope of nucleus P. Ooh, that's an important clue. Isotope means they are the same element. Same element means they have the same proton number. That's a big clue. So this one should be 84 and something else. Hmm. Did that mean the proton number and nuclear number of S? Ah, yeah, we just found the proton number, 84. Why? Because it's an isotope. Same element. How about the nuclear number? Oh, we kind of have to think of what are the transitions that happen. So let's look at this one first. Here to here, looks like an alpha decay. So I'm going to write there in uh, green. Alpha decay. How do I know? Because alpha is 4, 2. You throw away two protons you get 82. 84 minus 2 is 82. Mm. Okay. Then from Q to R. Wow, proton number increased by 1. What? Okay. So this is what we call a beta emission. 
beta minus 1, 0. Uh, something like that. So 82 minus 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 1 is 83. That's what a beta emission does. You increase the proton number by 1. Something became a proton. Then from R to S, you increase again by 1. Ah, yeah, another beta emission now. So here is 0, negative 1. So 0 means there's no change to the nuclear number. So it's still 2, 1, 4. So here, 2, 1, 4. Okay, so here is two marks, one, two, A1, A1. So the quark composition of Q changes as Q decay to form R. So Q to R is a beta decay. Describe the change to a quark in quark composition of the nucleon. Ooh. So we have Q, let's just draw this again. Q is 21482, right? And it decays. Decay, decay into R. R here is 83. And 214 because of beta decay. Mm -hmm. Kind of like this. Okay, so actually, why, why, why suddenly the proton can, can increase by 1? One, one? The magic that happens here is because somewhere in the nucleus of Q, you will have a neutron, which is an up. Up, wait. Neutron is up, down, down. Oh, wow, suddenly my brain hang up, down, down. Okay, there's three quarks inside a neutron. And somehow, by some magic, the neutron has become a proton. We won't go into the magic. If you're interested, go Google up particle physics, okay? Up, up, down becomes a proton. So the quark composition has now changed. And this is the property of beta decay, lah. A neutron will become a proton. So you need to write out the answer here. What is the quark composition? Well, let's write it out. So you say a neutron has become... Uh, say what neutron is. A uh, neutron is up, down, down. Has become a proton. Which is up, up, down. So... A down quark, a down quark has become or became an up quark. What well, can like that one? Uh, yeah, the world is a mysterious place, and there's not much we know about it yet. So you talk about the down become up quark. Uh, this is the main thing. What? So this this is this this is just a very interesting process. When this conversion happens, uh, neutron become proton. It will release out what we call uh, the uh, the electron and also an anti neutrino but that's the property of a beta decay anyway beta here is electron uh, kind of kind of thing so anyway that's all for this question six marks is a really short one on properties of scattering and things like that so that's all for this video I will see you in the next one if there's a next one <laughs>